kids, it's Teacher Teacher here. Let's talk silly science. That's right. Today we are going to tell the difference of how to feel hot and cold. How do you think we do that? That's right, boys and girls, you're all so smart. We do that by temperature. That's right. And did you know that we use a thermometer, very much like this, to talk about temperature? Mm -hmm. It tells us when something is cold, when it's way down here, or when it's hot, when it's way up here. Inside of this thermometer is something called mercury that sort of floats up and down based upon the temperature. It's normally like a red. You can't really see it here, but it's normally like a red inside. Now, the one you have probably at home won't look like this. It probably won't be as big as this one because this one is made for teacher, teacher. Yes. All right. Did you know that when we measure temperature, that we measure it in degrees? Yes, because that is the measurement of what's hot and cold. So we measure that in degrees. And did you know that when something freezes, like makes ice like this, oh, that's so cold, that's so cold, that's so cold. Remember when it's cold, it's at the bottom. That's right. So that freezes at zero degrees, but when some water boils, guess how much it freezes, at, at the, how many degrees it goes? Yeah, it goes up to 100 degrees, then this starts, oh yeah, it's hot, it's hot, it's getting there, it's getting there. Now, I want you to remember that when something is hot, do not touch it. It can burn you, it can hurt you, and I don't want any of my friends to get hurt. So parents, please remind all of my friends not to touch things when it's hot. And see, that's all, I won't touch it because it's getting so hot, I don't want it to freeze and or to, to boil, and then my hand burns, mm-mm, no way. So remember that when that red goes up, something is very, very hot. When it comes down, then something is very, very cold. That's the way that we use our thermometer. Did you know that you can have a fun just finding things that are hot or cold around your house? I want you to do that. I want you to go on a hot and cold uh, uh, scavenger hunt. Now, parents, it's just so easy. We just make it fun for our babies, and when we make it fun for them, they just learn more, and then we have fun, and they have fun, and we have fun. Everybody has fun. That's right. So all I have here is just a paddle. This can be just a piece of paper. On one side, it's hot. On the other side, it's cold. Now, for little learners, you can just put pictures of something hot or pictures of something cold, but I like to use the words because that helps my kids, my, my wonderful friends, that I helps them build their vocabulary. So I like for them to see the words. That's why I like to use the words. Then you can either print out some pictures or just go around the house and let your kids, let my friends, tell you which things would be hot or cold. Like, hmm, we have a picture of this stove right here. And on the stove, there's something cooking. So is that cold? That's right, it's not cold, teacher, teacher. You're right, boys and girls, it's hot, that's right. What about the sun shining down on us? Cold or hot? It's hot, that's right. What about these ice cubes right here? Oh yeah, they're hot, they're hot, they're hot. No, nope, they're cold, that's right. Ooh, hot chocolate. I know everybody likes hot chocolate. Is it cold or is it hot? Well, hello, it says hot in the name, so we know that it is hot. Ooh, what about snowman? Have you ever made a snowman with the snow coming down and you have your big coat on and you have your earmuffs on and your gloves and everything? So is it hot out there or is it cold? It's cold out there. What about ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Is it hot or cold? That's right, it's cold, teacher, teacher. And you know what? Just looking at this ice cream makes me want an ice cream. I've got to go get an ice cream, okay? But I will tell you that I want to remind you that if you go to our pbslearningmedia.org, you can find more information, more activities, more videos, more fun, more worksheets, all about temperature and things that are hot and are cold and how we know the difference. It's much more than I can tell you in just five minutes or less, right? So make sure you visit there today. And also, if you take pictures of you doing a scavenger hunt around your house, send them to me. I want to see them, my friends. I miss you, my friends. So send them to me and I will respond to you personally. I'll say, hello, my friends. I'm so happy to hear from you. So send those to me at 
WKNO teacher teacher at gmail.com. So teacher teacher says bye bye.